Hey everybody, Joe Casaboni here, and today I'm going to tell you how to set up a simple membership site on WordPress using Patreon's new WordPress plugin. So uh, if you don't know what Patreon is, it is a website where people can go to directly support content creators. So for example, if you like somebody like Peter Hollins on YouTube, then you can go over to his Patreon and pledge anywhere from $1 to a couple of hundred dollars in order to continue supporting his work directly. Patreon is a place where people can empower and support creators. So on the screen, we see my Patreon page. This is for my podcast and my YouTube channel. And uh, just to get a lay of the land of what we're looking at here, you see that we see the number of patrons that I have, some goals I've set out for myself, uh, some content about why I started this Patreon, but on the right, you will see the rewards. And this is the important integration that we're getting with Patreon's WordPress plugin. So you see I have uh, a $1 or more per month reward, $5 all the way up to $100. And what the Patreon WordPress plugin allows us to do is create posts on our WordPress blog and make them visible only to patrons who have pledged a certain amount. So let's go over to my WordPress site. And if we go to plugins, add new, and then search for Patreon, you'll see that there are a few plugins that come up. We're looking for the plugin that is made by Patreon. So uh, we're going to look for Patreon WordPress by Patreon, and we're gonna click install and we're going to click activate. All right, so now you see the Patreon plugin has been installed and we have a new area on the left called Patreon settings. If we click that, you'll see that we're brought to a settings page and here we're going to need to create uh, an application client that has uh, some API keys for authentication. So to do that, we will click on the link in the API settings box. So when we get to this page, we're going to have to create a client and you'll see that we have a form that we need to fill out. So we'll go ahead and fill that out. All right, and you'll see that we have an app name, description, uh, we have the author, which we need to provide the domain. We need to include an icon. This icon is going to show up when users are asked to authenticate their account against our WordPress website. And then finally, we have a redirect URI. You can get the redirect URI right from the WordPress plugin uh, by seeing the value here. It's probably going to be your URL slash Patreon dash authorization. So once we have this information, we will uh, see a new area where our client is created. And in this box, we have all of the information that we need in order to fill out the plugin information. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we can fast forward, kind of jump past this part. All right, and once we have that information filled in, we'll click update settings. There are a few default settings that we can use on this page as well. Uh, we're going to keep everything at the recommended setting, which is to enable login with Patreon and allow admins, editors to log in with Patreon button. So these things are turned on by default. And so now our Website is ready to have Patreon specific content. If we go to posts, add new, we'll see a new box on the right hand side for the Patreon level. Now what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to use a post that I have already created so that we don't have to fill in everything. So I'm going to choose a post I wrote a while ago called check out my podcast gear. So we have our content and everything like that. And then we have the Patreon level. So I'm going to make this $1, which means that anybody who pledges at least $1 will be able to access this blog post. I will click update. So since I'm an administrator, I'll be able to see this post. But uh, if we open this up in an incognito window, we'll see a message that this content is for patrons who pledge $1 and over. Uh, or one dollar or more. So we can click unlock with Patreon. 
and then we can choose to log in. We already have a Patreon account. Once we're logged in, if we are not pledged, we can go ahead and pledge here. If we are logged in, we will see this authorization box that is asking the user to essentially allow our site to access their Patreon information. And once we complete the authorization process, we can now view the post. So that's it for this quick tutorial on how to create an easy membership site using Patreon. Now I do have a couple of pieces of advice from going through this process. The first is I would either tag or categorize the posts that you intend for patrons so that you have an easy kind of landing page to send users to. So if you have the Patreon or patrons or members category, that's an easy place where all of the members only posts will show up. The other piece of advice is that depending on the hosting you're using, you might run into issues where the login process for Patreon, the handoff from Patreon to WordPress can't be complete. This is possibly due to caching issues. So uh, what will happen is uh, Patreon will create a simple file that WordPress and the Patreon WordPress plugin can access. If for some reason those two don't match, the process will be aborted. Uh, and again, that could be due to caching issues. So uh, if the file is inaccessible on the WordPress side for some reason, Patreon will think that there's a security issue. Uh, to fix that, you're going to have to work with your specific hosting company. But I noticed it with my site, with uh, Varnish Cache uh, on Liquid Web, and I noticed that people using WP Engine have also run into that problem. So uh, again, that is uh, a, a hosting level problem. It's probably something that Patreon can fix in a future update. But for now, if you run into that issue, it's probably a caching issue. I will link to the forum post I found kind of detailing the issues in the description for this video. But that's it for this video. If you liked it, go ahead and click the thumbs up button below. Subscribe to this channel for more great tutorials. And hey, if you like what I'm doing, head over to Patreon and pledge. It's as little as $1 a month. That's $12 a year. That's like three Starbucks coffees uh, for behind the scenes stuff, Q&A stuff, and a lot more uh, access to me and some of the stuff I'm doing behind the scenes, as well as early access to my plugin and videos like that. So uh, thanks again for watching and have a great day.